Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known, until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Come on, don't make me use cold water again. You do remember what today is, don't you? A double wedding. You're getting married and so is Soros. That's what I came to tell you. Your groom, Nelleros. He's here early. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, sort of. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. I shall do it. Ah, my little girl. It's the last day I'll be able to call you that. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. I'm sure they sent your betrothed early for good reason. The Elder took it in stride, at least. Maybe trouble was brewing at the High Ever Alienage, or the family didn't want your betrothed traveling later in the season. Whatever the reason, I paid the dowry, the Chantry issued the permit, and everything worked out fine. There's a lot to arranging marriages. Probably the biggest factor is deciding which spouse travels to which alienage. One side gets new blood and a new face, and the other side loses a family member. The dowry helps to even things out. <laughs> I understand. Before I met Adaya, I was ready to go hunt for the Dalish. Just be glad I chose the match. Without parents to represent you, children like your cousin Soros end up marrying whoever the Elder can find. Nelleros? He's from a good family in High Ever. Their youngest son. He's an expert at the blacksmith's anvil, from what I'm told. And yes, he's very handsome. I knew you'd ask, so I thought I'd save you the trouble. <laughs> All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. <laughs> Still have your mother's smart mouth, I see. Oh, one last thing before you go, my dear. Your martial training, the swordplay, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, best not to mention it to your betrothed. Later. Definitely later. We don't want to seem like troublemakers, after all. Adaya made that mistake. Our world is full of so many injustices. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on, then. I still have some things to do, and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Go on. I'll be out in a little bit. She lived in the sea. I didn't love her, but I think she loved me. I brought her diamonds, rubies, silver, and gold. But all she wanted was to be safe from the cold. She begged me to catch her, convinced me I should. I promised her a house, all gray stone and wood. We made a love in the sea. We made a love on the shore. I was just there for playing, but she wanted more. 
But there's one small problem, you see. I can't grant her wish. My wife gets suspicious when I come home smelling like fish. Whoa. Are you a sight for sore eyes? Oh. Oh! Um, we, uh, thought the, uh... We thought cash would be better. Spends easier. Right, right! Yeah, we gathered up, uh, 30 bits. That's a pretty good wedding present for anyone. That it is. Much better than a present, yes? Oh, you're right. Don't mind us. We're a bit tipsy. Here's ten bits to top it off. Now you go celebrate your big day and we'll do the same. Big day. Lots of celebrating. Well, it's around the eyes, mostly. I still don't see it. Whenever I look, I just see the mother. The mother was far more delicate. It's the same sort of nose, you must admit that. The breeding shows. Well, oh, there you go again with breeding. We're not horses, you know. Of course not, but bloodlines are important, that's all I'm saying. I think the whole notion is ridiculous. Well, you've got the freedom to think so. You come from good stock. Well, it's the lucky bride herself. Hello, dear. Oh, now, love, she probably doesn't remember us. Oh, of course. I'm Delwen, and this is Gethon. We were friends of your mother's. We haven't seen much of you since... Well... No, he wouldn't, I suppose. Adaya was beautiful, and full of life, and a bit wild. She wanted you more than anything. It's sad she never got to see you all grown up. We just wanted to see you today, and express our good wishes. It means the world to us to see you happy. We've saved a bit of money for this day. We'd... We'd like you to have it. To help start your new life. Please. We want you to have it. Make her bless you. Congratulations. Good luck to you. Good luck to you today. Hurry up. I wish Reading my wedding could make it any easier. As all this. There'd better be dancing. It's not a real wedding without dancing. I don't see Many blessings, young one. We hope to stay for the celebration, but we must be off. I wish we could. The human who owns our building has decided to sell it for storage space. We can't afford to live anywhere else here, so we're leaving Denerim. The Ostagar ruins. The army camp there is calling for laborers. We wanted to look for work in High Ever. But that's just not possible. Moving to a different alienage isn't easy. Travel and bribes cost money. Humans are a suspicious lot. I've heard the ones in High Ever are worse than here. You're still a child. You can't do anything. Enjoy your special day and put us out of your mind. What my husband means is, you're very generous, but we don't need charity to solve our problems. Many thanks. Again, blessings on your day. Wait! Can I talk to you a moment? I apologize for my parents. They're too proud to accept help, much less ask for it. My parents will labor in the army camp, and they'll expect me to do the same, but... I don't like the idea of being surrounded by human soldiers who haven't seen a woman in months. I would, but my father would have to believe I have a future here. Of course, but I can't imagine anyone here has much to spare. We'd need another three silvers to make it to High Ever. 
And if we got another ten silvers, we could rent a house here. Maybe one large enough to start a business. But <laughs> that's just dream talk. Nobody has that much money, and if they did, why would they give it to us? Where did you get this much money? Never mind. I'm sure not talking you out of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. You saved my family. I love you. Now I just have to handle the parents. Don't be nervous. It only hurts for a few dozen years. Cyrus <laughs> is getting married? That's good. He needs a woman to look after him. You're lucky you made him. such a good match. I'm the puppet. Huh? Wham, you're dead. No fair. She stopped me. Mother says we're better off out of sight. I didn't want to go to no stupid wedding anyhow. Heroes and humans, she made it up. We each choose someone from the Elder Stories and do furious battles. I always win. That's because you cheat. Do you know any stories about elven heroes? You do? Did Tathis steal from the humans? Did Tathis ever get caught? Hooray! I'm gonna be Tathis. No, me! I'm Tathis. I'll steal all your money from my family. You can't. I'm a giant dragon. Hello there. Congratulations on the big day. Have you seen Soros? Well, if you see him, ask him to come by and say hello, will you? Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin. <laughs> Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? Are you surprised? Apparently your groom's a dream come true. My bride sounds like a dying mouse. She's not ugly, exactly. I don't know, maybe it's just nerves. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. So I see you got yourself a big handsome hulk of a husband. Excuse me if I don't congratulate you. You, strutting around like you're the queen of Ferelden. Your father has the money to get you a great match. Meanwhile, what did I get? A fat old man who smells like the docks and wouldn't know what to do with a woman, even if he was sober. You think you're better than me? Well, you're not. I may have got a poor match, but at least I have some dignity. Wench. Hey, you're gonna be late for your own wedding. What if you're wrong? <laughs> How terrible that would be. The bride is supposed to be pretty and caring. <laughs> and definitely not late. Only humans don't care about being respectful. <laughs> Father said it this morning when my brothers didn't want to get out of bed. He said they were acting like lazy humans. I guess. They're pretty lazy. I wish I was getting married. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm terribly busy All right now. Them. Spare a coin for a man who was ruined trying to help his family. I worked on the docks, living day to day, never knowing if my family would go hungry. The humans always left us the dangerous work, in the high beams of the warehouses or in the water. I was rigged up, cleaning the side of a ship, when it drifted against another and my legs were crushed between. Magical healing? On an elf? Ha! <laughs> The human foreman had me hauled out and dumped in an alley. My sons didn't find me until day's end. So now I live on the charity of those who don't even have enough for themselves. May the Maker's eyes look down with love on your day. A blessing on you today, child. There's the man of the hour. How are you, Soros? I'm well. This is my cousin, the bride. The other bride, not my bride. We've met on occasion. 
Blessings on the day, both of you. True enough. Still better to be married and have a real life than to remain a child. There is something you should know, Soros. My brothers won't be coming. They left to find the Dalish, you see. They're elves who supposedly live free wandering the forests. I don't think they really exist, though. Well, my brothers certainly believe they do. Even Alarith swears that Dalish elves saved him on his way to Denerim. <laughs> Nonsense. Indeed. He told my brothers that when he was fleeing his homeland, he found the Dalish. Or they found him. I don't really remember. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. They were probably just taken in by another old story. Teodoro, it was great seeing you. I'm sure your brothers will show up in a few days, embarrassed and hungry. I hope so. I should go. Best wishes to you both. What are you doing here? You should be getting ready for your wedding. Did you now? Well, there isn't much time for stories. A couple of weddings are starting soon. I believe they are, though they're probably not exactly the way the elders describe. If you want to hear more, we'll go for some ale after you're married. Now get going. That's impossible. Well, let's get this over with. <laughs> Let go of me! Stop, please! It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here. Silence, worm. I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Fine. But let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's this? Another lovely one come to keep me company. Do you have any idea who I am? Are you insane? This is Von Orion, the Isle of Denerim's son. What? Oh, Maker. You've a lot of nerve, knife ears. This'll go badly for you. Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I, I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. I am a lucky man to be so warmly welcomed. Uh, I'm sure the two of you have a lot to discuss. Well, here we are. Are you nervous? I'll spend every waking moment learning to make you happy. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll come find you. Don't look now, but we have another problem. Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. 
Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. Let's do this quickly. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding. I do. I believe, however, that I may have already found what I was seeking. That is my business. Uh, that's not what my friend meant to say. It just might be easier for everyone if you moved along. Thank you, Soros. But I want to hear what she has to say. And I refuse yet again. Now what? Surely it does not escape your notice that I am both armed and armored. Any fight between us would be rather one-sided. Not unless I'm left without a choice. Try not to die. I'll run for help. No need. I'm not here to fight you. Still, I find such bravery most impressive. Do you not agree, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It has been far too long. I was hardly forthcoming, and for that I apologize. May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Kaelin summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding, too, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later. Was there something else? By all means. Valendrian and I have known each other for almost 20 years. Since the time I tried to recruit your mother, in fact. I did. Your mother was a fiery woman. She would have made an excellent Grey Warden. I never made the offer. Valendrian convinced me that it was better for her to remain here with her family. As there was no blight and thus no immediate need for recruits, I deferred to his wishes. But it seems she passed her training on to you. Am I right? I've already heard a great deal about you, if you must know. But we can speak more of this later. You have a wedding to attend. Was there something else? By all means. All in good time. I suggest you have your celebration while you can. We dedicate our lives to fighting Darkspawn wherever they appear, doing whatever it takes to stop them. It is our only charge. In fact, some of our greatest heroes have been Elven. The Warden Garahel, he that slew the last Archdemon, was such a one. I could tell you a great deal more about them, but I suspect you've other things to do at the moment. My best wishes to you both. Huh? I'm trying not to. You handled him well, but he seems like the type to hold a grudge. I hope you're right. Huh? I think I'm coming to terms with it. Maybe in time I'll learn to appreciate the old mouse.
Well, the humans choose, and their marriages don't seem any happier. Maybe it's wise to let the elders decide. Mother Boan, I assume. No other priest would come down here. I'm not sure. Maybe we can ask her when she arrives. Uh, not that much. I expected a giant, bristling with weapons. The Elder said once that the Grey Warden stopped the Blight. Some huge invasion by evil things from darkness, blah blah blah. You know how stories go. Anyway, we should get this show going. Of course. But to where? We know nothing about living in the wilderness and have no money to get there. Have you ever gone to Alarith's shop and heard his stories of running from his homeland? Life's not perfect here, but at least we aren't slaves. In somewhere called Tevinter, I think. He came here when he was young and lost both parents and his brother on the way. You should ask him about it sometime. Oh, Saurus. There you are. I was afraid you'd run off. No, I'm here, with Nelleros's blushing bride in tow. You look radiant. It looks like everyone's ready. You too, cousin. Maybe it won't be so bad after all. Friends and family, today we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people, but that was not always so. Andraste, the Maker's Prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, remember that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valendrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the Maker who brought us this world, and in whose name we say the Chant of Light, I... My lord! This is an unexpected surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party. And uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> My lord, this is a wedding! <laughs> if you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. Now, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? Just a good time with the ladies, that's all. <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and... Where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughan! Let me go, you stuffed shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. Don't worry, I won't let them take you. Ah, oh, yes. Such a well-formed little thing. You villains! Oh, that's quite enough. I'm, uh, I'm sure we all want to avoid further um, unpleasantness. That wouldn't be much of a party now, would it? Oh, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Stop it. You're driving me insane. Oh, thank the Maker you've come to. We were so worried. We're scared but unharmed. So far, they locked us in here to wait until that bastard is ready for us. Forgive me if I don't hold my breath. The door is locked and solid, and we're unarmed! Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Great. Now this again. What are we going to do? Look, we'll... 
do what they want. Go home and try to forget this ever happened. She's right. It'll be worse if we resist. It'll be worse if we don't. Someone's coming. Hello, wenches. We're your escorts to Lord Vaughan's little party. Stay away from us! <gasps> you killed her! I suppose that's what happens when you try teaching whores some respect. Now, you grab the little flower cowering in the corner. Horace and I'll take the homely bride and the drunk. You two, find the last one. Lord Vaughan likes her look and wants to keep her for last. Don't worry, we'll be perfect gentlemen. Now you heard the captain. Be a good little wench or you'll end up like your friend there. <laughs> She's spirited. Lord Vaughan's gonna enjoy breaking her. Uh. Hello? Oh, look at this! A little elfling with a stolen sword. Ha. Oh, sod. Don't give them the advantage! I can't believe they killed her. Are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? That Grey Warden Duncan gave Nelleros and me his sword and crossbow, but that's all we have. Yes, he's the reason we're here. He lost it on those who wanted to hope for the best. I didn't know what to do. Thanks. I couldn't let him go alone. Nelleros is guarding the end of the hall. Let's figure this out with him. We should hurry before something happens to the others. As you say. What's this? I don't recognize you, elf. Wait, is that blood? You're bandits, rebels, outlaws. The guards will make quick work of you. Oh! You've no idea how long that Shem's had it coming. Yes, dragged them to Lord Vaughn's quarters, they did. You should hurry if you want to help them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting out of here before the storm hits. Where did you get a weapon, elf? Uh-oh. You better talk quick, scum! Say. 
I shall do it. It is begun. begun. It is begun. See? I told you there'd be more. Elves run in packs, like rodents. Should we keep the knife-eared bitch alive? They killed our boys. She dies. Stupid wench. We'll show you how men fight. As you say. Very well. Let's make sure it wasn't in vain. We should hurry before something happens to the others. I shall do it. be done. Oh! <laughs> 
Be done. should hurry before something happens to the others. shall do it. As you say.
it is begun. As you say. My, my. What have we here? Don't worry. We'll make short work of these two. Quiet, you idiot! They're covered with enough blood to fill a tub. What do you think that means? All right. Let's not be too hasty here. Surely we can talk this over. Out of here. I want to go home. Think for a minute. Kill me and you ruin more lives than just your own. By dawn, the city will run red with elven blood. Think about it. You know how this ends. Or we could talk this through. Now that you have my undivided attention. You think people care about elven whores? You think my father will ignore my death simply because I used some animals as they were meant to be used? A poor word choice, perhaps, but you understand. You'd risk everything you know on petty revenge. What if he's right? They'll purge the alienage again. If you're sure, I'm with you. Ta! I always regret talking to night fears. Now I'll just gut your ignorant carcasses instead. Tell me we did the right thing, cousin. I'll check the back room for the others. Shiani needs you. D don't leave me alone. Please. Please, take me home. <laughs> so much blood. I, I can't stand to look at it. It's... everywhere. You killed them, didn't you? You killed them all? Good. Good. A bit rattled. They said they were... saving us for later. I can't believe you came for us. Thank you. Uh, we should go. Soon, as in now. I'll take the rear guard. I can't wait to leave this place. You've returned. Has Shiani been hurt? Where is Tormi's daughter, Nola? Nola didn't make it. She resisted. <laughs> They killed her. Nelleros, too. The guards killed him. I see. Would the rest of you ladies please take Shiani home? She needs rest. Of course. Now tell me, what happened? Then the garrison could already be on their way. 
You have little time. Oh, that it has come to this. The guards are here! Don't panic. Let's see what comes of this. I seek Valendrian, elder and administrator of the alienage. Uh, here, Captain. I take it you have come in response to today's disruption. Don't play ignorant with me, elder. You will not prevent justice from being done. The Earl's son lies dead in a river of blood that runs through the entire palace. I need names, and I need them now. You expect me to believe one woman did all of that? We are not all so helpless, Captain. You save many by coming forward. I don't envy your fate, but I applaud your courage. This elf will wait in the dungeons until the Earl returns. The rest of you... Back to your houses. Captain, a word, if you please. What is it, Grey Warden? The situation is well under control, as you can see. Be that as it may, I hereby invoke the Grey Warden's right of conscription. I remove this woman into my custody. Son of a time down. Very well, Grey Warden. I cannot challenge your rights, but I'll ask one thing. Get this elf out of the city. Today. Agreed. Now I need to get my men on the streets before this news hits. Move out! You're with me now. Say your goodbyes and see me when you're ready. We leave immediately. For the moment, they are fine. There are far more important matters arising that endanger more than just your people. I needed a Grey Warden and I found one. That conscripting you saved your life is only circumstance. You did what you had to do to accomplish your mission. We need people like you. Now quickly, say your goodbyes. Your life here is over. Thank you. You really saved my hide back there. No more daydreaming. I'm settling down. Valora's a good woman, and she has ideas on making life better for everyone here. Your father had the women take Shiani back to your place. Will you see her before you go? Good luck, cousin. You've been my hero since we were kids. It's just official now. Well, I guess Duncan got his recruit after all. Indeed. It only saddens me that it has taken this for you to find it. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people. Goodbye, young one, and make her keep you. I always said you were meant for something other than this You'll place. do good out there, I'm sure. A Grey Warden, huh? Fancy that. Maybe this will be for the best. This is the best thing for you, dear. But we're all sad Good luck to, to see you. you go. Whatever happens. If this is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. I just wish there was another way. I dreamed of grandchildren, family gatherings, and... I'm sorry this isn't helping. Take care, my girl. Be safe. And wise. And... Well, you know. We'll all miss you. Get going before I embarrass us both. There you are. Thank you. For me, for Saurus, for everything. Will, I swear it. Shiani seems to have regained herself. I'll leave you two alone. Good luck, and thank you again. You took all the responsibility for what happened. You're amazing, you know that? I'm all right. As far as the others know, 
Vaughn just roughed me up a bit. I just don't want them treating me like some fragile doll. <sighs> I love you, cousin. Make us proud out there. Make her watch over you. We'll miss you. Are you ready to go? Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately.